millions flock every year to the holy city in Jerusalem, it's a much lonelier road to Shingo. No pilgrims on the path to enlightenment, no hordes of heathens selling fake crowns of thorns, just a view that may well have remained unchanged for a couple of thousand years. The billboard says Shingo Village, hometown of Christ. Now, if you were raised a Catholic like me, or a Christian of any sort, you might remember being told how Jesus Christ died on the cross nearly 2,000 years ago on a hill outside Jerusalem. Well, there's another version of events, one that puts a very different ending on the greatest story ever told. Just the man to tell me is local historian, 80-year-old Genji Kosaka. Today he's taking me to meet someone that Bible class didn't cover, a direct descendant of Jesus Christ. 76-year-old garlic farmer Toyoji Sawaguchi isn't the least Christ-like. He dabbles in the Buddhist and Shinto religions and is ambivalent about his famous bloodline. It was the eyes, it seems, that gave it away. And what self-respecting Mediterranean ancestor would forget his odd drop of vino? Just when I'm thinking the only holy thing around here is the story, Mr. Kosaka agrees to take me to a hillside on Mr. Sawaguchi's property where Jesus Christ is buried. It's not quite how I imagined Calvary, but there's a greater shock to come. Sure, not only did Jesus die in Japan, he also had a brother. Like all good mysteries, this one involves an ancient scroll. A copy is now housed in the Christ Museum next to the grave sites. Well, that's torn it for the Christians. The Romans got his brother by mistake. After leaving his brother to take the rap, Jesus escaped to Japan. It seems it was his second coming. According to the information on this notice board, Jesus Christ first came to Japan when he was 21 years old and he studied as an apprentice under a Shinto priest. That's where he got all his ideas from. According to local legend, when he returned, he married a local girl called Miyuko. 
He fathered three daughters, and when he died at the ripe old age of 106 of natural causes, he was bald. It seems extraordinary that a town of non-Christians should be so taken with Christ. But there's a very good reason for Shingoites to believe. After all, this sleepy village doesn't have much else going for it. Just the racy go-kart track and the big rock, imaginatively called the Big Rock. So once a year, Christ really is celebrated as a saviour of the local tourist business. All the town fathers gather solemnly and a Shinto, not Christian, ceremony is held. This too is part of the mystery. While the local women dance, they sing a song which has no meaning in Japanese, but has been passed religiously from generation to generation. One might think the mystery would be easily solved with a shovel. traditional bread and wine but I've got my noodles, I've got my Christ's hometown sake and my Christ's hometown toffee and I think I've discovered what Christ's festival really means to the locals. It's a good excuse to get out on a fine day and partake of the noodle and sake together. Itadakimasu.